Hello, crypto enthusiasts. Welcome back to Bitcoin Dorks, your daily source for all things cryptocurrency. Today, we're diving into a rather concerning incident involving Balancer, a popular decentralized finance, DeFi, platform. Balancer recently fell victim to a social engineering attack on its DNS provider, resulting in a website hijack. Let's delve into the details. First off, let's get acquainted with Balancer and its significance in the DeFi ecosystem. Balancer is a decentralized exchange and automated portfolio manager that allows users to create and manage liquidity pools. It's a critical component in the world of decentralized finance. Let's dive deeper into the social engineering attack that targeted Balancer's DNS provider. This type of attack is not about exploiting code vulnerabilities or hacking into systems with complex algorithms. Instead, it's a cunning manipulation of human psychology and trust, and it can have profound consequences when successfully executed. The attackers behind this incident leveraged a critical weakness in the infrastructure of the internet itself, the domain name system, DNS. The DNS is responsible for translating user-friendly domain names, like balancer.fi into IP addresses that computers use to locate web servers. It's the digital equivalent of a phone book, and it's fundamental to how we navigate the web. So, how did the attack unfold? It all began with a breach of Balancer's DNS provider, a third-party service responsible for managing the DNS records of websites. The attackers employed a combination of tactics, possibly including phishing emails, social engineering calls, or other deceptive means, to trick employees or contractors at the DNS provider. Once inside the DNS provider's systems, the attackers made unauthorized changes to the DNS records associated with Balancer's domain. They altered the DNS records in a way that allowed them to redirect traffic intended for Balancer.fi to a malicious website under their control. This malicious website was designed to closely resemble Balancer's official site, with the goal of deceiving visitors into thinking they were accessing the genuine platform. It's a classic bait-and-switch tactic used in phishing attacks, and it's often surprisingly effective. The implications of this website hijack are profound. In the world of cryptocurrency and DeFi, where users interact with smart contracts and handle digital assets, any compromise of trust can lead to substantial losses. Users who unwittingly access the fraudulent balancer site could have unknowingly exposed their private keys or interacted with malicious code. Cryptocurrency and DeFi platforms, including Balancer, operate in an environment where trust is paramount. Users rely on the integrity of these platforms to safeguard their assets and ensure the fair execution of smart contracts. The website hijack, which could have potentially exposed users to a fraudulent version of Balancer's platform, raises concerns about user risk and potential financial losses. Users who inadvertently interacted with the malicious site could have unknowingly compromised their private keys or engaged with malicious smart contracts, risking the loss of their digital assets. Beyond the immediate financial implications, such incidents can also result in reputational damage for the affected platform. Users and the wider cryptocurrency community may question the security and reliability of the platform, which can erode trust and confidence in its services. While Balancer indeed holds a prominent position within the decentralized finance, DeFi, landscape, it's crucial to recognize that the implications of this incident extend far beyond the confines of a single project. Balancer's website hijack serves as an eye-opening reminder of the substantial security challenges faced by the entire DeFi ecosystem. DeFi platforms, by design, operate in a decentralized and permissionless environment, which is one of their defining features. This means that anyone can participate without needing approval or intermediaries. While this open nature offers unparalleled accessibility and financial inclusion, it also exposes the ecosystem to a unique set of security risks and challenges. The incident highlights the vulnerabilities that exist in the broader DeFi space, emphasizing that no project, no matter how reputable or well-established, is immune to the ever-evolving tactics employed by malicious actors. These platforms often rely on smart contracts, decentralized applications, dApps, and blockchain technology, which, while revolutionary, can also introduce complexities and potential attack vectors. Security in DeFi is an ongoing and collaborative effort. Developers, users, auditors, and the broader community continually work together to identify vulnerabilities, conduct audits, and implement best practices. This collective approach to security aims to fortify the DeFi ecosystem against both known and emerging threats. Moreover, the incident underscores the importance of education and awareness within the DeFi space. Users must remain vigilant and exercise caution when interacting with decentralized platforms, always verifying the authenticity of the websites and applications they use. Furthermore, DeFi projects must prioritize security, implement rigorous testing, 
and conduct comprehensive audits to protect their users and the integrity of their services. As the DeFi ecosystem matures, incidents like the Balancer website hijacks serve as critical learning experiences. They motivate the community to continually refine and enhance security measures, reinforce best practices, and develop innovative solutions to fortify the decentralized financial infrastructure. Ultimately, while security challenges persist, they drive progress and innovation in the quest to make DeFi a safer and more reliable financial ecosystem for all participants. In conclusion, the social engineering attack on Balancer's DNS provider serves as a stark reminder of the security challenges that DeFi platforms face. While the incident has been mitigated, it underscores the need for constant vigilance and security improvements in the crypto space. As we wrap up this segment, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this incident and how it impacts your confidence in DeFi platforms. Stay tuned for our next video, and don't forget to like and subscribe.